What does it really mean to be free and live on oceans, in anchorages, and marinas all over the world? Is it possible? When I left Toronto, Canada, and sailed down through New York State and into Manhattan in an attempt to get as far south as possible, I had no idea what I was really up against. But I kept pushing on down the eastern seaboard and into Florida, and eventually Miami. From the helm of my sailboat, I saw the beehive that is this world. And I realized something very important. It is possible. If I can do it, so can you. It's kind of like jumping off a cliff. You just got to do it. You got to get in that roller coaster ride. You got to take that leap of faith out on the ocean and just trust your boat. That's what I did. Eventually, against all odds, I crossed the Gulf Stream. And I made it into the Bahamas. Bimini was my first stop, and you can watch this journey. There are 150 videos, and I upload every Sunday at 8.45 a.m., where I go sailing with you, my digital crew. Now I'm on my way back, headed north, and onto a bigger adventure. My name is Michael Potts, and I live on a Scepter 36 foot sailboat. And this is where I am today, Georgia. In this video, we sail on the ICW through Georgia and into Savannah. So stick around. All right, so yesterday was crazy, and uh, it's kind of scared me off taking the outside. So I'm, uh, I'm on the inside. The really windy, spidery, rivery parts of the ICW. And <clears throat> I was looking at the charts this morning and there's parts that don't even connect. My autopilot or my uh, Garmin chart plotter system, you can actually, it'll recommend you a route and it couldn't even rec recommend a route. It's like, there's no safe depth here. So I'm on the river here. Savannah is right ahead of us, somewhere over there. If you go this way there's the city all right this is there's an anchorage right here and i'm gonna take advantage of the anchorage i'm gonna sit down and take a good look at some of the maps in order to get back out and more into savannah it's another seven nautical miles which i'll do tomorrow all right i can do that in, a, in like an hour or two so two hours so uh i'm gonna drop the hook up here and and sort of do some research you know it's pretty rare that that i'm in a place for the first time i've ever been here i'm gonna see what i can uh figure out a way to uh, visit Savannah but not break the rules because I can only be in the same anchorage for 24 hours according to the CBP. You guys want to see my next sailboat? Look at this. <laughs> oh yes. Wow. Oh my god. If that's not sailboat porn, I don't know what is. Oh my god. She really is beautiful, eh? Oh yeah. Imagine down below. Holy 
it's probably a, a bit of an older yacht too like probably already been around the world a couple times just beautiful one elm like that definitely an older boat or maybe these big ones they they don't have the dual helm like you see anyway oh yeah we're gonna anchor somewhere over yonder there's a bridge here somewhere it's called a place called thunderbolt uh savannah all right that's what the guy chris at the marina said he's like what a nice guy he's not gonna be like wow you know most marinas they're in it for the money okay this guy didn't care he was like oh go anchor here it's a great spot you know uh he definitely didn't have that that southern draw like the dude in here and in uh in georgia but look at this look at this boat look at this one. Oh yes nice boat what's up buddy yeah it's, i know just between anchorages cheers brother <laughs> he's like your anchor is down go now i gotta now i gotta uh now i gotta show you what he means looking at the charts here I don't want to run aground or anything oh it's been one hell of a day I'll tell you let's go on deck I'll show you what he means he's like you know your anchor's down all right let's not get knocked over by the sail and into the water that's what he means I'm trying to get that gook off there I know it doesn't matter but and it probably takes like a quarter of a knot off the entire hull speed of the boat but whatever Okay, fine. We'll lift it up a bit. All right, let's lift it up a bit. You ready? Actually, let's dunk it first. Get all that crud off there. Oh, that's kind of nice, eh? Oh, yeah. That's better. I'm about to anchor, so I don't care. That anchor is not meant for this boat, right? This boat's... uh. Oh, we got another sailboat chasing us. Look at this. Hey, I watch your channel. <laughs> a lot of people say that when I when I go by. Then they come up close to my boat and they realize how how brutal it is, how beat up it is. One of these days we'll get a we'll get a nice boat for the channel, guys. You stick around and subscribe to the channel. This is just the beginning of the journey. I know we're heading home to Canada, but that doesn't mean anything. I want to do this for the rest of my life. I love it out here. I was sitting here thinking today, man, if I could just find a way to do this all the time. And I guess I pretty much have found a way. You know, all you all you people out there watch these, every time you watch one of my videos, it, it allows me to stay out here. I mean, think about it like that, guys. So thank you, you know. Hit the subscribe button, like the videos, hit the bell notification, drop me a comment, share a video and you're helping a sailor achieve his dream and you know that's all i really want to do you know i don't want a fancy ferrari i don't want to become a gazillionaire lear channel well you know I, I just want to sail my boat around and that's it you know that's all i'm asking for you know i love it out here this is it for me i'm uh, this is this is you know, you know the best times of my life man this is great all right, so there's a bridge over here. We're gonna go around this corner and drop the hook. All right, I'm across from Thunderbolt, the city of Thunderbolt, whatever, Savannah here. And I just watched a dude take his boat and he looked around and then he just went to the dock. He's like, how much is it for the night? I'm like, dude, it's already nighttime. Just, just anchor your boat here. Save yourself $160 Canadian. You know what I mean? Like the morning they'll be there and you'll be like, I just got robbed. I don't get it. Just drop your hook. I mean, yes, my boat's rigged out for power and, and I don't need to be at a dock. The last time I was at Arena was actually last week, but before that it was like a year. But you get my point, right? You don't need to be in a Arena. Anyway, it's, it's weird. Sometimes when the tide's going this way and the wind's coming this way, it's hard to anchor. Hard to set your, your anchor. That's what I'm going through right now. Anyway, I am going to enjoy a beer 
and relax and figure out where there's a store near here. We're gonna drop the dinghy, fix all that, all those things and get everything sorted out. All right. It is the morning and morning number one here in Savannah. And sometimes I wonder why they name places the way they name them. And usually it was from sailors coming in the first time they, they took a look around. And you can see why they call it Savannah. Look at this place. I'm across from Thunderbolt Marine, which is in Thunderbolt, if you look on the Google Earth here. And I'm anchored just off the ICW. All right, so today, uh, I need to get ashore and get to a target. I've, I've located a target, which is just over there somewhere. So my mission, uh, you know, usually most people would come in here and they'd go into the marina and they'd take a, an Uber into town and provision. In my case, I am a broke YouTuber, uh, okay, that lives off the hook. So what I'm gonna do is uh, attempt to save money by walking, uh, and uh, grab a, a couple couple things. Uh, ooh, fish jumped there. So I just got a payment from uh, Google AdSense. Thank you guys. And uh, so I'm gonna take that money and get a few things that I will need, like basic stuff, rice, beans, maybe even enough for a couple beers. And so let's go into, uh, let's go, let's go. There's a bridge over here somewhere, and I know there's a public dock, so. I'm gonna try and anchor near the public dock. We'll drop the dinghy. The dinghy's in rough condition, guys. She really is. She's not holding air anymore. And uh, oh, it's just a disaster. So I, I, I think I'm gonna take this time here in Savannah to get some things organized. You know, it kills me in the comments. People are like, I mean, this is the situation. When I first put this boat in the water four years ago, I fixed her up and tried to get her to what I thought was good enough condition to head south at the time with the budget that I had. Guys, if you're watching this video, the right thing to do is to wait until you have enough money and then go to the Bahamas. I, I just wanted to sail and I, a very limited budget, purchased this vessel. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And here I am now, uh, you know, four or five years later, you know, heading back to Canada and this vessel is in rough condition. She really is. It's not a safety. Well, it's not really a safety issue, but uh, there's a couple things that need to be looked at, you know, in, in preparation uh, for my trip north. Am I going to do any serious offshore sailing in this vessel right now? No, not at all. We're essentially motor sailing back to Canada so I can take this boat out of the water and fix the problems that are on her. All those people out there that want to drop a comment that I'm 70% of my uh, problems were solvable from the beginning the whole deal i mean yeah i'm sensitive to comments just because i get it you're you're probably right and that's the truth so i mean i have what i have i need to return to canada very limited budget so i need to kind of do what i can to safely move this vessel north so stick around these are going to be some interesting videos anyway let's go into savannah let's find let's go to that bridge there drop the hook and put that dinghy down put some air in it and uh uh, go get some provisions and then we need to do we need to figure we need to uh, get this boat uh, Sorted out. I'm gonna bust out the tools and, and Take a look at every single piece of this boat to make sure that we're good for our next passage to Charleston. All right Let's go into Savannah sailors out there what I just did uh, I tried to get a little closer to that public dock but I did it at low tide right so in this situation if you're gonna anchor make sure you're you're anchoring at low tide well try to in order to see what's going on And these rivers are so small and tight you gotta have short scope and try to anchor at low tide so you know you're good I know I'm good here okay it's low tide I'm gonna be fine here 
I literally probably have, I don't know, 35 feet of chain out. That's all I need here. And that big anchor and I'm good. So unfortunately I wasn't able to find a spot closer to the dock there. The reason I wanted to do that is just because the, the dinghy is questionable right now. I need to, look at it, it's done. It's, so anyway, I'm gonna drop this thing down now. There, I think I've damaged my davits the other day in that storm. So I need to, I may need to rip this solar panel off and like do some work to these davits uh, in order to get this sorted out. Uh, I'll show you what's going on here. Fortunately, this is the situation. Uh, ben. All right, well, so I'm very, very happy West Marine is great. I purchased this pump literally in March and I don't have a receipt for it, but I have an account with West Marine and uh, this pump has failed. I can't do dishes. So I'm going to pull this pump out right now uh, and go to West Marine and they're going to give me a new one. And that's what's great about West Marine guys. Don't be ordering cheap stuff off of Amazon. It's just going to fail. Okay. West Marine has like a quality assurance program where they actually sell things that are decent. I know this failed, it's very strange, but at least I know I can bring it there without the receipt and they're gonna be like, yeah, Mr. Potts, here's another one. And that's it. So uh, on the way into Target today, we're gonna go to West Marine and replace this pump. Whole boatload of Georgian beauties right there. All right, Michael. All right, so I'm at the public dock. I'm tied up here, this piece of junk dinghy. We need to walk into West Marine. We need to find guitar strings, mandolin strings, and we need to uh, get rid of this garbage here. Let's do it. Well, that's convenient. I got a garbage truck for me there. All right, it looks like we're, it's a bit of a walk. We gotta get over that bridge. So. <laughs> All right, so I've made it over the bridge and downtown Georgia's that way. Wow, so. Just like anywhere in America, I'm here with Maurice. Yep. And uh, he's giving me a lift to, to West Marine. Look at that, the first person I talked to in Savannah, he's like, hey man, I'll give you a lift. Isn't that great? So this is cool, man. We're gonna go down here all the way to the West Marine. It would've taken me two and a half hours to walk, so I appreciate you uh, no, 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 taking man. me a minute. No problem, man. You gotta love people from Savannah. <laughs> <laughs> so Maurice and I are having McDonald's. I bought a McDonald's. They got a $5 deal on right now, so amazing one minute I'm walking through the forest into a city I've never been the next minute I'm driving around with some dude some American dude and this guy's from Fort Lauderdale Isn't that crazy this is what I love about America so look at that guys West Marine saves my butt at yet another time so right away they got the same pump this is what I love about West Marine all right so it's worth spending the money here don't order it off Amazon okay yes you can send it back to Amazon but there's a West Marine in every town in, in the US so when, you, when you're gonna buy something here, they back it up. Check this out. All right, so I just gotta figure out, uh, so now I'm in the middle of Savannah, here at West Marine. All right, I just gotta figure out a way to get back to, uh, I'm probably gonna take a bus. So that's great, I got the pump, so I can do my dishes now. Uh, there's a music store here. I actually need some classical guitar strings. Very limited funds right now, but I think it's worth, getting while I'm here all right so things are really working out for me today uh, the moment I got out of uh, the West Marine there was a music shop so I got my guitar strings that I needed I broke a guitar string and then literally the moment I went to the bus stop a bus pulled up so I'm having really good luck today what I love about Savannah so far is people here are like chatty they want to help the one lady on the bus like radioed the other bus to make sure to pick me up and take me to the right place. And then everyone was talking to me on the bus. This is a really cool town. There's a there's an, a palpable energy here where people are like, like look at this place. I mean, it's, it's something really special. I feel like there's a lot of history here and it, typical American people, you know, they're just there to, to help and to chat with you. And I just love it here, guys. This, you gotta come to Savannah. I'd, I'd like to go downtown and like have a beer it would be would be a great idea but uh, I'm a bit worried about my boat I, I actually put all, remember 
This morning I put about 40 feet of chain out. I should have put all my chain out because now I'm like thinking about it in the back of my mind. I'm like, damn it, I hope I don't go back there and I'm on the, I'm on the bank or something. Oh man. So anyway, we need to go to Target now and get a couple things and then we'll head back to the, the boat at, at Thunderbolt. I'm gonna walk with all the groceries over that bridge. So that's my next big uh, mission. <laughs> People in Georgia are great. <laughs> Look at that. I, I didn't even take a cab or an Uber. I just talk to people, they're like, yeah, I'll give you a ride, no problem. So that last little bit where I had to come over the bridge, holy, that would have taken forever. Some guy stopped and he's like, hey, can I get a can, can I buy a can of that beer from you? And I was like, dude, just give me a lift. So he gave me a lift. So I got enough supplies for the next four, five days uh, until I get my Patreon uh, money. And then I can uh, get some diesel and some other things. So, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm right out of funds, guys. It's brutal. Uh, it's not responsible. It really isn't. I just didn't expect to pay for so many repairs and then replace my computer. And it's pretty brutal. Anyway, looks like my dinghy's still there. Is there a car there? Let's get back to the boat, see if it's there. <laughs> to get some water from the local public dock there it's really convenient and i moved on towards charleston in the next video we try to escape this crazy tropical storm that comes in i get into charleston so stick around for that episode next week if you really like this sort of content join my patreon the links in the in the description below it's only a couple bucks a month it really helps me out keeps me out here guys so join my digital crew that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it captain michael Signing out. We'll see you next Sunday at 8.45 a.m.